everyone. Welcome back. Uh, so we are going to follow up on the rendering images to a series of files with a tutorial on how to read a series of files. Uh, so the operator that we're going to be reading in will depend on, I guess, what type of file we're working with. Um, taking a step back, the reason that this is sometimes helpful is one, reading in a series of image files, uh, much like the ones that we exported in the render an image series to disk file, or sorry, tutorial. You also use this uh, potentially when importing geometry files or animation files, um, especially if you are doing something like a procedural animation in Houdini and then want to export that geometry and read it in the touch designer, this is how you would do that. And so those are probably the two main uses that I come across for this, but I'm sure there are a million more. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look. Uh, so I'm going to first use a movie file in. And <clears throat> this is pretty straightforward. So we have our file path. It has all of this stitched already. Um, now we need a series of images. And for that, I have the output folder that we worked with on the other tutorial that has all of these images. So I'm just gonna be using that. Um, if you guys haven't created that, uh, go follow along on that tutorial or grab your own image series. So to read them in, I'll collapse this. I will customize it. I will a folder parameter called source, oops, a folder parameter called source folder that I will default to our root directory. And then we're gonna need something like a file name uh, schema. And what I mean by that is how do we actually have our file name set up? Uh, so if I can pull up my examples. Yes, okay, so we have our output folder. Um, the schema here is TD movie out dot iteration number dot frame number, right? And that's going to be helpful because that will allow us to parameterize and abstract out what I'm gonna call the name signature, file name signature maybe, uh, we'll make it a string and I will default to TD movie out. And we'll call this read image series. <clears throat> now all we have to do is point this at our folder. So you can say parent dot par dot folder oops, dot eval um, plus open tick slash let's just say td movie out dot zero dot zero dot jpeg for now um, why is that not working uh, why is this not working? No attribute folder. That's because I called this one source folder. And now we can see that this is working. At least the, the file path is working, but it's telling us that there is no file in this folder. 
And that is fair because I need to point this at the output folder that I'm working with. And that is actually this folder. So now I can see that we are indeed reading in that folder, grabbing the file named tdmovieout.0.0.jpg, and that's great. If I change this to a one or a 100, we can see that we're grabbing different files. And so now you get an idea of how we're going to go about reading in this sequence. Uh, I'm going to customize the component a little bit more. I'm going to put in a component, or sorry, a parameter, an int for iteration. This is going to be our n, uh, big index right here. And then I'm going to also put in a frame parameter. My frame, I'm going to call abs time or no, sorry, me.time.frame. I'm gonna also just make my entire timeline 200 frames long, and I'll leave the iteration as zero. So now we need to just create the rest of this path out of those parameters. So I'm going to say plus slash, plus, and then replace TD movie out with parent.par.filename.signature.eval plus put a bracket around my period, then cast my parent.par.iteration.eval as a string. Another plus, another single quotes around that period, another plus, this time we're gonna cast our uh, frame parameter as a string. One more plus, and then our last quote for the file extension. And now we can see that this is indeed reading our frames uh, in a series of images and the Black screen is because I don't have 200 full frames, so that's fine. Um, but we can see that this is easily working. If we wanted to instead grab iteration one, we could move this to one. And you can see that as we're changing the iteration, we're grabbing different sequence of files. You can go to iteration three and get something completely different. And that is because I have four iterations of frames saved in this folder. So that's it. Uh, that is how you read a series of image files. You can use this exact same technique to read in a series of SOP files. So, I delete this and delete that and instead do a file in SOP. Now I will need some geometries. So for those geometries, I'm going to use a geometry sequence that I already have set up. And that is going to be in this uh, folder that I'm about to show you. Apologies, I should have had this in the directory already. work. Okay, 
there we go. So like I copied our component so we have all of these same source folders. And now you'll see kind of the power here. So I'll just put an outsop. Um, I'm going to actually just go back to this newbie file and just grab this exact formula. Just paste that right here in the geo file. Right there. Uh, we are going to have to change our file extension, but the rest is going to work pretty seamlessly. Um, so actually we can do this. We can instead, we'll call this read file series. Customize this. I will say file extension as a string parameter and I'll default it to dot JPEG. Actually, I'll default it to just JPEG. We can go in here and instead of hard coding this, we can say plus and then parent.par.file extension.eval like this. Now, if we copy and paste, jump in here, uh, I'm going to copy this formula, go back to my file in SOP, paste that here, delete both of these, and then create an out, jump back up to my top level and just change these parameters and see what happens. So if we look at my geo folder, um, I can just show you one of these. It's just this weird amorphous thing. Um, our name signature here looks like geo. So we can say geo underscore. Um, we don't actually have an iteration count here. So that's fine. And we're gonna have to tweak some things, I guess. So that's okay. Maybe in my perfect copy and paste isn't going to work, but that's fine. If you hover over, or maybe if we Let's start with finding the correct source folder. And we can do that by navigating to wherever that directory was. Mine is called geo. My file extension in this case is uh, bh classic. We're not gonna have an iteration. My frame is gonna be the same. Um, and then we are going to have to go in here and change some things in our formula because we don't have an iteration. So we can see we need it to look like this. It looks like this. The ways to change that will be to keep the underscore and the frame, but lose the iteration and these two periods. And then we need to add dot zero after it. So we can say plus zero dot and now we are reading in our file. And you can see that our geometry is then animating. Um, again, it's the error because we don't have that many frames worth of file to read in, but you can get the point. And the real key is just composing these file paths uh, with Python. So a little bit long for a quick tip, but I think it's a good one. Uh, I will leave it here. Thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon. These videos are helpful or enjoyable. Like and or subscribe. And I will talk to everyone later.